You're welcome. I feel like I'm getting more and more limber every day. You can see it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Tell Becca I'll give her a call. I will. I'm just saying that when you 911 me, I think you've fractured a hip. No, I- Seth, my ah. brother. Mother, I'm hanging up. All right, look, just go in there and don't worry about this other shit. Yeah, I, I will. Best thing for the company, man. Yeah. Best thing. Don't worry about the lost jobs. Thank you, Jake. What are they saying? I can't hear anything. I'm sorry, I need to take this call. Excuse me, I'll be right back. What is it, are you okay? I'm fine, I just forgot to ask about your appointment with the fertility doctor, when is that? Mother, it's tonight. I am in the most important business meeting of my life and you're calling me about this now? What could be more important business than a grandchild? Although, not too late to swap wives, you know, I could wait for that. Hello? 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 What time is Seth getting home? I'm sure he'll be here before you go. So he's Seth now? It hurts Dad's feelings when we call Seth Dad. <laughs> As if he had feelings. Oh, you're at a meeting, of course. Well, I hope you enjoy your meeting, Seth. How about next time you want to have sex, I'm in a meeting. Caitlin, how much of that did you hear? More than you want me to. Oh, Nick, your dad's here. I am gonna miss you guys so, so much. Call me for any little thing at all. In fact, call me every day for no reason at all. And tell your dad, no junk food. Just organic fruits and veggies only. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. I love you guys. Love, love you, you too, too, Mom. We'll need a few days to think about it, but this looks promising. <sighs> With your capital, I know we can turn this company around. Of course. We'll have some conditions. Absolutely. Naturally, the operation will need to be streamlined. Is it streamlined? What? <sighs> Seriously? What did they say? Did they say streamline? Am I losing my job? Am I all right? It looks promising. Which part looks promising? The kids. And you want to have another one. Oh. Now tell me, why is it that you want to have a baby? Yeah, why is it that we want to have a baby? Well, Dr. Magool, it's... A cash. All right. Um... A cash. A cash. And continue. Things have occurred. Things? Things. What? My mother had a near-death experience. Near-death? Yeah, she <laughs> had a mole removed. It could have been cancer. Cancer? Yeah. It was unsightly, but it was hardly cancer. Well, she I... just needed an excuse to get some work done. You know, now that's just... 
Well, actually, that could be true. <laughs> it's just that we already have kids. Well, you have kids. I guess you've just been raising them for the last eight years. Huh. And, and you don't want any more kids? It's not that I don't want to have kids. I love kids. I do. It's just I thought I was done having them. You know, I, <clears throat> I just got my body back. Yes, you certainly did. <clears throat> uh, but this is very important to Seth. <laughs> no, this is all about the bloodline. Blood? Oh. Blood? Yeah, that family, very old money. There is nothing wrong with money. No, of course not. See, the thing is, he's never home. I worked very hard for our family. And what is it that you uh, do? Well, I... Oh, he manufactures and sells saturated, fat-laden waste products passed off as snacks that are contributing to the obesity of our children. Oh, that's funny. I thought I was contributing to the laziness of you. Okay, I think I see the problem here. I have low sperm motility. That's the symptom. But the reason that they have low motility is because they're terrified of Karen's womb. Hmm. So listen to me very carefully. You need to get a better perspective of one another on the inside. So we'll take a little journey together, all right? Seth, you and I first. All right. No, no. Inside. Take my hand. Let you close your eyes. Visualize Karen's vagina. Way ahead of you there. Entering through a dark crevasse. Look around, it's dark. Suddenly it's filled with light. This is a new experience for you. Seth, stay right there. Karen, I want to take a journey with you as well, okay? Don't be frightened, I'll be with you too. Close your eyes. We're gonna travel up Seth's urethra together. Imagine we're carving out a beautiful, handmade birch canoe. And together, we're gonna paddle upstream. Okay, and it's not too difficult. It's a relatively weak stream. Good. Travel all the way up. I want you to make friends with Seth's testicles. What do you want me to take them shopping with me? Seth? <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Is this a gateway drug? Wah, 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 wah.